Peace, love, and light, family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I hope you're living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages. Okay, Scorpio's messages for you. This high priestess is saying something with the world. Um, hmm. This energy of this high priestess showing up with the world, it's like you see the world. You see the world for what it is. And hmm, I'm hearing something about the matrix. I'm hearing something about a matrix. I'm hearing something about an illusion. Perhaps that's been created. Um, and it's like this high priestess sees exactly. It's like this high priestess sees truth. And the world exists where there are many that are kept from the truth. Mm. <laughs> it's interesting how this fool card just like you know oh okay uh the divine is saying that the world there are many that exist in this world that are living in the world as a fool like a fool in ignorance not really knowing and they're quite comfortable with that and there's something that the divine is saying about you showing up and you seeing the world for exactly what it is hmm you're showing up for exactly you're you see the world for exactly what it is and look at this this is the truth king of swords showing up okay and it's like i'm getting this energy that there are a lot of folks that have been indoctrinated into thinking that there's a specific template that they ought to follow and you as the high priestess you see the world for exactly what it is it's like Many of you are very much detached from a lot of the rituals, okay? The King of Swords is saying the truth, all right? Many of you are detached from the rituals of the world, okay? And you know for a fact that, uh, well, you're in tune, all right? If nothing else, you know for a fact that you're in tune and... There's an energy of progression regarding how you see the world, okay? There's an energy of progression as to how you see the world. Like, you seeing the world also puts you in this energy of being this, you know, this... It's like, I'm getting this energy of, like, someone... It's like, uh, I'm hearing Wild Wild West. Um, almost like this this person who's able to you know make their way through uh very persistent who's you know who fights for what they want what they see in the world this emperor card is also showing up there's an energy of like this emperor card is also showing an energy of like you being balanced but because of your views and many of you i'm getting that it's not it's it's something that's it's a challenge it's a challenge to remain balanced yet you do it <laughs> yet you do it very well okay uh, hmm. i'm also see this high priest is showing up again i'm also seeing this energy of like with this high priestess being at the forefront of this reading it this is also you're a truth seeker okay you're a truth seeker and and as a truth seeker you've encountered a lot of um resistance in a lot of what you do and you've seen this you've uncovered a lot of resistance in what you do and I'm also seeing that like you've been ahead of your time for quite some time. Many of you. Many of you, because of this energy of you being this truth seeker, you've being you've been ahead of your time. And this high priest is showing up in the spiritual as well as the physical is an indication that I'm hearing that 
it's like the world is starting to catch up or they're really going to catch up with what you've always known so there's something that you've always known as this high priestess here that the world is catching up to what you've always known okay there's something about that um this very thing that literally separated you from the rest of the world is gonna be the thing that literally like um it's gonna be doing something let's see what happens um it's like okay let's see tell me about this high priestess Mm, yeah, this very thing that separated you from the world is also the thing that's going to revolutionize the world. Okay, the very thing that separated you from the world is also the very thing that's going to revolutionize the world. Like they, many folks who may not have been able to see what you've seen for quite some time, um they're releasing old patterns old ways of doing things because many of you uh you be you kept your persistence okay you stood firm in your truth and now the world is gonna see what you've always known mm. for many of you this also may mean like some things are gonna be revealed they're literally gonna be coming out um they're going to be yeah they're going to be revealed there are a lot of things that are going to be revealed that you've always known about okay i'm seeing this king of wands and this um <clears throat> two of cups so this may um be in connection to energies of power leadership you know some aspects of maybe per perhaps people in power those who are in power or what we consider to be power there's also an energy of the two of cups which is an energy of love balance so there's something that's also going to be something that's going to be known there's something that the world is going to know like they're just literally catching on some folks are catching on and i'm seeing that there's some like whatever it is that they're going to be saying that they know you've always known this you've always known this and for whatever reason, I'm also getting that there's some connection to like the universe, like the cosmos, the, the planets. There's some some information that's going to be coming out about the planets that you've always known about. And th these two things, like literally all of these energies are a reflection of the cosmos. There's information that's going to be coming out about the cosmos, about the planets. Um, and this information is going to be released very soon is what I'm hearing. Look for this information to be released very soon. It may have to do with Neptune energy, um, ideals, intuition. So there may be something about that. And this connection that is showing up is it has some connection to the planets. Again, Neptune is showing up. Um, there's information that was not known previously that literally left the world in this um being trapped in their own minds <sighs> take it as it resonates for those yeah it left you trapped in your own mind it left you in a state of illusion uh this also may have something to do with money like the currency that is that is being used okay the whatever it is that's coming out it may have something to do with uh the currency you know as it relates to security as it relates to abundance you know what we perceive as security and this may be um the divine is saying there's some kind of illusion that was created around currency that's going to that previously made people feel trapped there was there's some information about this this yeah this sounds for some of you this is going to resonate so it doesn't sound weird uh for some of you this is gonna sound weird um there's some information regarding currency that's that's what i'm getting at this time that there's some information regarding currency um that may have been withheld 
and whatever it was that was withheld and whatever information was projected it was projected to create an illusion i'm getting an i'm getting an image of some kind of like a ram of some sort uh and i'm trying to see what the significance of that is um there were images and, and illusions created regarding currency that was meant to literally trap you, keep you bound, uh, okay? And you, meaning the general population, um, for whatever reason, the divine is saying you as this high priestess, you've had some connection to this, you've known this, um, and whatever it is that you've known, you may have shared it some way, somehow, you know, uh, and the sharing may have come by way of what you do, you know, what by way of your purpose, whatever it is that you do, you have shared some aspects of what you've known about the world uh, that have kept people bound, that have kept people trapped, that have kept people in a state of illusion. And it's like there are a lot of things that are coming out like these illusions, people are going to be sh shedding these illusions and literally i'm getting that the world is going to see what you've always known okay and this is this right here is an energy of like power leadership um okay let's see tell me about this king of wands has to do this part of this has to do with like financial power financial stability where is this going spirit where are we going here seven of pentacles like investments i'm i'm getting that part of this is you were told to invest in the wrong things take it as it resonates Okay, you will know what it means as it resonates for you. You are told, okay, this is this Knight of Cups is an energy of someone expressing something. You are told to invest in the same, the wrong thing. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Hmm. Whatever you were told to invest in, it literally, it may have, it could have potentially, and this is not you, like this is the world, this is the world investing in this. Whatever, you know, someone was told to invest in, it literally was, was meant to create to make it difficult for you to see something you were told to invest in the wrong things because it was meant for you to it was meant to make it difficult for you to see something it was meant to make it difficult for you to see that anything outside of this financial investment whatever this investment means um it was meant to make it difficult for you to see outside of anything having to do with monetary gain, really, in general. Mm. Tell me about this full card. So, this full card is... is significant it signifies that someone's views became changed someone view someone's views started changing someone's views started changing it's like this is someone this represents it possibly it may possibly re represent a group of people or people this i'm getting that 
this nine of swords showing in reverse or upside down represents the veil removing from you know someone's eyes and it has to do with you it has to do with you because you showing up as this high priestess it's like you've been hip to the truth many of your high priests and priestesses here you've been hip to the truth and part of the reason why you've avoided loss you have moved the way you have is because you're connected to the truth you're connected to some esoteric type of truth you're connected to more of i'm getting like the spiritual than the physical like you're connected to again the the energy of the planets tell me where you're going with this spirit okay where are you going with this yep so you represent scorpios like you literally represent that person that is the way the door opener there's that energy of the gatekeeper again there's the energy of you being this gatekeeper like you are the way opener like you show you show people the way okay and you get to know like there's something very significant about this year that's really like this is why you're showing up in this energy the high priestess coming forward the full card significant for kind of like the beginning of something taking the leap of faith the change it's like you're helping to shed old skin you're helping to release the veil from the eyes of the general population you are allowing you whatever it is that you do you are literally giving others permission to be this like spiritual boss so to speak um you know for lack of a better term which is exactly how you're showing up and this right here is you showing up as the some sort of someone that opens the door opens the gate for people to literally face what they may have not been facing for the veil to be removed for them to shed old skin for them to see the there's a breakthrough there's some aspects of breakthrough that you've always been responsible for there's some aspect of breakthrough and here you are right here you are like this is an aspect of breakthrough whatever it is that okay Scorpios this right here is very powerful this is this is a this is a very powerful energy that's coming from here like the release of something the letting go of something shedding old skin like that's you transformation this energy of transformation that's you and you've always been transforming you've known things that the world hasn't it's like the world is just beginning to catch up to your knowledge of the cosmos and the universe here and that's exactly what it is where you're showing up as someone who's literally always been in tune um and it's like the world is just beginning to to see this with time this knight of pentacles showing up the world is just beginning to see what you've always known and see and you see how the world card is indicative of the fool card showing up twice like whatever you have whatever you did whatever it is that you've been doing I'm getting this energy that you've literally been at the forefront. You have ushered in this energy of transformation, this energy of, okay, go for it. You know, this is really what the world looks like. And you see how this world card appears before this one? This is you jumping in before anybody else. Like you've been this person that it's, it's almost like someone who tests the waters before anybody else someone who's been there 
before everybody else and it's like now they're beginning to catch up and that's that energy that i got previously the world is beginning to catch up to who you are what you've always known this is you coming at the forefront and here the world card coming with this fool card this is them coming after the fact this is them coming after the fact and the reason why the divine is showing you this is because you're going to be recognized for being an innovator you're going to be recognized for being you know for creating breakthroughs for being an innovator this energy of of innovation is showing up you're in this right right here the six of wands is an energy of recognition you're going to be seen you're going to be rewarded you're going to be seen as the sign of innovation you're going to be seen as the sign literally that creates some kind of innovation because people see you people see exactly who you are they learn from you okay six six is also significant six 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 three six yeah three six nine an energy of manifestation okay Tell me more about the world card. Hmm. Three of Wands. <laughs> what the world failed to see, you've always known. And it's like they're just beginning to catch up to what you know. They really are. Like, and this actually may even represent, the world may represent literally the whole world. It may also represent someone in your life at this time. Someone who's coming up in your energy possibly as this queen of wands. What they failed to see previously they're going to be seeing that you've been right all along. There's something that may even be happening with this person, okay? This may be someone who's in the Queen of Wands energy that's beginning to see that they're moving towards the position that you've they've seen you in this whole time. Mm, this is creating some this is creating some kind of energy within this person too this is really creating some kind of energy within this person too tell me about this queen of wands because this is significant mm. You have someone that actually is starting to value themselves because of you. Someone is beginning to value themselves. Yeah, it's a very strong Leo sign energy. Some air, uh, maybe an air sign too. I'm really getting strong fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Okay, three is significant. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles. Mm. Okay, flying cards. Haven't seen this in a while. Hmm. <laughs> it's interesting. This is what shows up. And literally as I was picking this up, this was shown back then. It was like... Okay, you are being saved for the right moment at the right time. And that's part of the thing about this person. It's like the divine is revealing you as someone 
who was who was saved for the right moment at the right time and like right now is that time you're showing up in this just energy right that energy that came forward the other day like who's the fairest of them all who's who's the just it's like you know it's an energy of like being just balance you know someone who's grounded here and it's like there's something oof, Scorpios bear with me um, there's some secrets there's some energy something something about you something that you've always known that that this person is now just coming into this like they're just getting <laughs> Someone didn't get the memo. They're just getting the memo. Some literally someone just got the memo. Someone just got the memo. Someone that's in your energy and it's really showing up as, you know, take it as it resonates like the world in general about who you are and there's also this energy from this this <coughs> truth be told fire sign Leo Sag Aries that's beginning to receive this energy of like exactly who you are like the truth that you've always known whatever it is and i'm getting that it may even be, be something that they they shunned you for they you know it's like whatever it is that they did there's something that they did it's like now they're starting to kind of like regret what they did because they're starting to see that what you've always projected, what you've always known, they're starting to see that truth. And there was someone that's blinded, that was blinded, that is now able to see because that is exactly what you represent as this high priestess, someone who's always been able to see or because you have been a truth seeker, you've always been looking for the truth. You know, there's a lot that you knew that a lot of folks didn't know. And there's someone whose eyes are beginning to be open. And I'm literally hearing that song. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. This person is beginning to see that they were their own obstacle. <laughs> there's someone that's beginning to see this and it's... A strong strong fire sign like the fire sign keeps coming out strong fire sign and it may be more than one energy showing up here this fire sign may be seeing this obstacle there may be libra gemini aquarius energy that's sh that showing you as just this earth sign energy is showing you as someone who is giving yep new cycle tell us about the emperor <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> this energy of like fear stagnation not moving forward this is an energy of someone who doesn't see and let me see something here uh I'm getting also that the Emperor represents you. Confirm this. Okay, so the Emperor may not represent you. It may actually represent someone watching you though. It may represent someone watching you. There's someone watching you that's whose eyes are beginning to be opened and this Libra Gemini Aquarius energy is showing up someone who's beginning to see you tell us what else you want us to know okay so I'm also getting that with this page of swords here that like what they refuse like a lot of people what they refused about you they're beginning to be curious now it's like they they're they're wanting exactly 
it's so weird scorpios they didn't want this and now they want this so something has happened to them energetically okay divine divine intervention divine intervention is happening in the lives of a lot of your enemies this is like they're having an epiphany now uh scorpios look at that an awakening that's exactly it they're having an epiphany now they're having an epiphany about who you've always been and who you've always been has been this high priestess they're finding out they're finding out that you've always been this person that's grounded like they may have thought that you literally were cuckoo for cocoa puffs previously and some of them it's like they couldn't quite put their hands on it they couldn't quite put their fingers on it and there had to be a cycle in which came in which they begin to understand you and many of you you get to know that their their curiosity about you that's keeping them watching you um it's causing them to see that you've you've been right all along and they see this they see this in their dreams they see that you've been right all along they see it in their dreams they see it in you know their awakened state they see you as this person right here scorpios as this person that's literally now like they're this is someone who's causing an epiphany this is the end of this um this is the end of this energy of being stuck at this crossroad. This is someone who's literally beginning to develop the eyes that you've always had as this high priestess. And it's like, they're scratching their head at this time. Dang, Scorpio's been right this whole time. Someone can't believe that you've been right this whole time, Scorpios. Like their curiosity is what they're, what's causing them to see this. They're scratching their heads. And it's like literally this energy of you having been right those whole time has is haunting them. It really is. It's haunting them. They can't believe that you've been right this whole time. And this is the cycle for them to see this. Okay? You're going to see a lot of people's eyes are opening up about you. Changes are coming. A lot of people's you know by you know with this energy of awakening, divine intervention, the divine really doing some stuff in these people they're gonna be seeing that you've been right this whole time they're awakening they're having epiphanies oh my goodness you mean this like they and it's like they can't believe this and there's someone also showing up in this you know earth sign energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's you know straight up ego dang she was right this whole time dang he was right this whole time like their ego literally blocked them from seeing you know who you were okay stuck at the crossroads blinded they were blinded about who you were and they were meant to be <laughs> and it's like the divine is literally opening up their eyes it's like okay now you can see scorpio this is the time where you get to see scorpio because this time this is that time this is that time again all right this is that time the divine literally saved you okay saved you because it needed to it needed to happen there's something very significant about timing uh when it comes to you scorpios okay and i saw this six of uh six of wands here which is an energy of recognition all right it needed to happen at the right time you it's almost like i'm getting this energy of you being like this secret weapon that the divine held uh for last and or it may have been that like whoever it was that the divine wanted um wanted to see you whoever it was that the divine was wanting to see you it had to be at a very specific time because there's something about that time that's significant to your calling, that's significant to your power, that's significant to, um, oh, there it is. <laughs> ah, and even this card, like there's some something significant about how this thing, this thing disappeared and then it hit. It's like, you weren't meant to be seen as someone who's always been successful. Like you were hidden among others. And like right now I'm getting, that is that time that the divine is saying, okay, now you can see my chosen. It wasn't time then, it's time now. And that's that. Okay, let's see. 
um, seeing it's kind of weird. It's a it's an interesting energy. They're having epiphanies about you now. Okay, words of wisdom regarding this reading. Hayaka. Okay, there's something significant about this. 38 is showing up, which is an energy of uh, 11. For many of you, 11 may be significant. 11, 11, which is manifestation. Uh, the number two may be significant, which is a union. And that, that's exactly what it may actually be, too. Like, there may be something about a union or unions or people coming together or you being part of unions of some sort perhaps this is why the divine save that it's like save that time for you to be recognized you know for last there's something significant about time and and then all this energy of like money and power and things that you've known regarding finances perhaps there's also something significant about that where like you needed to be seen it's like the time in which you needed to be seen needed to correspond with this energy of your financial abundance as well It's like the divine had to literally have a perfect calculation because whatever story they receive of you at this time, it needs to show you in this energy of like extreme abundance. It's like the divine needed you to be a proof that you can be abundant, you know, you can be a like spiritually abundant you can be spiritually abundant or abundantly spiritual like either way and this may be someone that's really been connected to okay this you're talking about people that may be may have been connected to a lot of like connected to spiritual um i'm getting more like connected to you know financial abundance and instead of spiritual instead of spiritually working on themselves like even this right here trying to explain it it's it's like trying to make it make sense right and this person's sense of the world was more so based on material possession than spiritual possession and it's like they're getting an epiphany of you now and it's like this is the time in which they needed to get an epiphany of you because this is truly that season where they're seeing that you be they see they're they're seeing that there is a connection between spirituality and abundance and they needed to see that this is that time in which they needed to see that okay so the divine is saying uh this is pachamama she with the indian emerald heart don't hold back from what is happening things need to change so let them change it may seem chaotic or overwhelming now however when you realize that you don't need to figure it all out you'll relax along with the wisdom of what is happening at a deeper level to unfold trust that your inner resources are enough and will grow to meet your needs for soul expression in the world you may have sometimes uh, felt like you were juggling too many projects, too few arms. The Divine Mother can help you tr you if you trust her to keep an eye on things and guide the process for you. This oracle indicates that peace and harmony will eventually triumph over conflict and challenge, bringing about a new way of being. That's that energy from the very beginning. A new way of being is being shown at this time. And you literally have been the innovator you've literally led the way you've literally been you know that person that seemed to have done it first and now it's like others are following you're changing 
you're changing perspectives here people are having epiphanies about you and the world and the divine is letting you know you know and congratulating you at this time because this this may not have been easy for you scorpios because you stood your ground when you knew that the rest of the world may have been going cuckoo what you knew they 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 were they're just catching up to what you know and it wasn't you know the easiest thing and the divine is letting you know keep going keep moving forward keep taking that leap of faith that you have always been doing especially now because there's a lot more that they haven't seen yet okay and you're going to continue to succeed and that is the word of the divine if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace divine light